Welcome back to Joe's Coral Reef. Today we're going to be reviewing the HANA Marine Salinity Tester. So the specifications are right in line with what else is in the uh, market. You know, HANA of course makes the larger salinity refractometer. That meter is very expensive, $180. This one is, is very small. Fits in the palm of your hand. It looks like it's completely waterproof. Little display, runs off those little coin batteries. Comes with calibration fluid, which is cool, and a nice case for you to store it when you're done with it. I always like that. Um, this uses graphite electrodes to measure the salinity, measuring basically EC, electrical current. So we're comparing the Milwaukee versus the HANA. Of course, they're using two different methods. Like we talked about, the HANA has two probes in the bottom, so it's measuring I guess with a sensor electrically and the Milwaukee is using light so it's checking the ref refractivity index hopefully I didn't butcher that too bad it's very quick though I mean when you hit that button boom it tells you the salinity the temperature really never works though so let's check out the Hannah three seconds Three seconds for the salinity and about five seconds for the temperature. Pretty quick. You got to hold it there. So I would put the speed to the Milwaukee, um, but the, you know the hand is very small, pocketable, nice little device. So I went back to the Hanna. I left the water in there to check the temperature, and it never moved. It stayed at 70, which I guess would expect. It probably comes down to room temperature pretty quick, such a small body. So we are going to go old school. I found this in a box that I bought with an old aquarium. I used to have the Instant Ocean one. These are accurate and they're very cheap. I don't know what they cost now. This has got to be 30, 40 bucks maybe, but it works. And it's, it's a third method, so it's using density. So I believe that little white puck is a certain density and it's basically floating on the water based on the salinity. More salinity, the higher it's going to float, move the arm up. But look, 1.026, it's perfect. So one of the disappointing things I think about this is changing the settings. I hate going to the back here and pushing the button. Although, I mean, how often are you going to do it? But if you wanted to, it's just kind of a pain. But once you do it, it's quick and easy. I changed to uh, specific gravity and then to Fahrenheit. There's an auto off timer. You can change the duration. I didn't mess with that. So quick and easy. Yeah, a little battery cover that goes back there. Nice, simple, easy little device. Quick to power on. So we're going to compare all three of these with reverse osmosis. And I know you're not supposed to use in the Milwaukee reverse osmosis. You're supposed to calibrate it with deionized. I do it. Don't do what I do. Um, so I put it in the Coral Life 1.000, of course, right? It's on the money. Milwaukee, on the money. Of course, I'll calibrate it to that temperature or to that, so that I'll calibrate it with that fluid. And then the Anna is 1.00. So right there, along with all of them. Very unexciting. So let's pull out the calibration fluid. Let's calibrate the Hanna. I'm also going to try the calibration fluid in the Milwaukee with devastating results. But hey, you got to try it. So one, two, three. Pretty quick. And then to calibrate it, you just hold the calibration button. If my camera would stop focusing on the phone in the back. Focus on this. So you hit the calibration button. I'm not holding anything right now. It's doing its own thing. Once I start to, the camera comes in focus for some reason. I take the meter out of, why did I do that? Anyway, I'll bring it down. Come on, bring it down. Come on, come on, come on. You can just bring it in. It's done. Show us it's done. Okay, it's done. <laughs> Quick and easy to calibrate. So let's check the calibration fluid in the Milwaukee. Let's see what it does. This should be interesting. Not really interesting, but I checked it again with the meter. I'm like, what the heck? So it's got to be, the fluid has to be calibrated for those electrodes and not optically. Um, so let's just go over the three 
methods that we use. We use connectivity, optical refractivity, and mechanical density, right? The three different ways that all of these measured the same thing, salinity. Um, they're all different price points. The Milwaukee's at the top, the Hannah's in the middle, and the Coral Life, of course, is at the bottom. And then there's another Hannah on top of it. So, you know, with the Hannah, you got to buy that calibration fluid. I mean, I know it's only 25 bucks or 35 bucks for 25, but that adds on to it. Um, the Milwaukee's, of course, a little bigger. I, and I've found with the Milwaukee, sometimes I'll get rust between that stainless steel disc and the plastic. So I really have to keep it clean. Someone told me, if you pre-warm it with your finger, the temperature will be more accurate. Um, I did not find that the case, and if it is, I'm not putting my finger on there that long. Look how long that is. It only got up two degrees. So I just don't trust it for temperature, but for salinity, you know, it, it's, it's very quick. Very quick, very easy. So thanks for tuning in to Joe's Coral Reef. Just wanted to give you an overview of some of the tools I've been playing with. I played with the Hanna. I think I like it. I may keep it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm out. Season 2 in full effect.